All right, hey guys, it's um MVP from the breacher. It's like uh, it's like one o'clock right now. So um, oh, eleven forty-one, wrong time. All right, well, right now I'm gonna be showing you how to do that uh, twitch effect. Um, I'll show it right now. Um, yeah, so you saw a clip. It's sort of like a pulse thing where it's like I don't know how to explain it. Well, first you're gonna need a clip. Import. This is for like a advanced Sony Vegas user. So if you're just new to this, you, you this is not the tutorial for you. Um, get a clip. Just downloads. Find the clip. Mm, I don't care. What would be a good clip? Feed. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, I don't really care anymore. Yeah, just disable the audio because it's not going to get you anywhere. Always disable the reason. But I, I'm shocked maintain aspect ratio because when I just got my PVR, I was using Windows Movie Maker to render, and that did this weird thing. So I have to crop it till it's full screen. You should be full screen, so yeah. And then I got the clip where I get it right there. Oh, wait. Okay, so then you get a song. Just all editing equipment. Uh, I don't care. That's not good. Well, now let's listen to the song. It's fine. Oh, perfect. Um, so then you're gonna need to get the clip. In, but all right so you're gonna want to find where you want the little like pumping or the framing or whatever you want to start right so i'll put right there preview best full get ready to take like a picture got okay, good image boom okay um split the clip crap I hate it when that happens And I'm just going to redo that picture. Right there. There you go. Split the clip there. Drag this out. Drag in the picture. So then it'll be like this. Oh, wait. Sorry. And you see that we got like these waves. In the audio, so that's when you know, like, where the beats are gonna be. Take that, copy it, uh, new layer, paste. Probably gonna do about three of these. I, I'm just gonna do actually, that's good. Um, so you get the original to pop. It depends what you want to make pop. Do you want to have the kill feed pop? That pop? That I don't care. But, um, for this gonna have you're gonna go to mask go on the bottom one here uh, zoom into this part anywhere just you hold down alt alt and a pc i don't know what it is on a mac i think it's the same thing but zoom in whatever then you're gonna want to kind of like box out but you're gonna select this anchor tool box it out and that's a terrible box but for just that is terrible feather bolt Three, so bad it is. Um, so now, if you go into pan and crop, you'll see. I think. Oh, I know. Fire restore. Um, this has to be on top. Now, if you go into pan and crop, you go like this. What is going on here? 
uh, give me a second, I gotta play around with this. Do I have mask on? Right. What the? Oh! Got it. Alright. You're gonna put the one that has the mask on top of all the others? And so, yeah, like, see if you got this. Do that. Uh, yeah, you got that. Um, so you're gonna find where you want this. So I'm gonna want one right there. So you're gonna go to the one that has a mask. And see, right here, you're gonna wanna just add a new keyframe. I just do that by, like, moving it around or click add keyframe just figure out how to add a key from there then you're gonna go one frame forward and zoom in on it however you want I'm gonna do like a side thing then have it like go out a little bit restore so like you have normal pulsed and then it just fades out kinda of. so it'll look like oh, looks pretty good um so you got your little bump, then you want, you're going to want to put the time where that is awesome. Then you're going to find it in the bottom one, and you're going to want to just do the same thing, <coughs> sorry, same thing that you did, you're going to make a keyframe, then you just want to go in a little bit, just to like add to the pulse, same thing, oh it's a little far out, same thing you just did, except to make it add a little better, that yeah, looks better, then Actually, you don't even need this. Drag these both there. Start out with two. You don't even need to. If you had that there, I'm just delete it. Take the original one. Go to Video Effects and Gauge and Blur. Uh, just it doesn't matter. Just don't do the yellow one. Just I just do light blur. Um, you're gonna want to click these two little like clocks, and then you're gonna find uh where you did in the first one, like where the keyframe was so you got it there or if you don't want to do that you can just zoom in and then it'll play the time where the pop comes so you're gonna take a keyframe there you're gonna want to make two keyframes there so that you know it doesn't just like stay blurry the whole time go back to these keyframes take them to zero <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys this light is just hard <laughs> then you're gonna take it and Find the amount of blur you want. It depends on like how you want it. Um, I usually do a horizontal range, or it de depends on the time. I usually do horizontal. Then you take a horizontal range or vertical. Do the same exact thing you did for the other one. Drag it out. Zero. That looks pretty good. There you got it. Now let's watch it. Pretty good. Now, if you don't want that, you can just split these there. Oh, yeah. Then you can have that go, so I guess it'll look like this. You can do all the stuff you want, even like add color correction. Epicness. Add. Okay. Color correction. I just have presets made. And then you're gonna have it add the color correction to this track too. Uh so that it's not like broken. Like what so like if you have it ma mashed out and you only have the color correction on that layer, it won't uh <coughs> it won't uh it'll be like a a box here with no color correction and that looks terrible. Uh, and you're gonna go. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Ugh, it's terrible. Uh, then end it. I guess. <laughs> Alright, sorry. This is laggy with the um the color correction. So uh, it's pretty much it. I mean, if you have multiple like beats, then you want. 
you can do it multiple times. I mean, that takes longer, but it's a better effect. And you can just copy the keyframes, find where you want the little pulse. Um, you got that. Uh, the only thing to add would be like an overlay, maybe some Twixter down here. Like, right there, I don't know. But there's that. Import media and equipment. Uh, particles, particles. Go oh, five. I don't even know it. Let's go. That I'm just splitting the audio by right clicking it. Oh yeah, I need it. Oh, this is uh, if you have particles like an overlay, um, and you want these overlays, go find like, a good pack or something and just try about uh, Sony Vegas overlays particles, whatever. There'd probably be a pack of them. Click over here to this little like film box. Add. I mean, you can do dodge. That works too. I, I just do add. Don't. Someone see what it still works. Um, I'll render this out for you guys and then show you at the end of the video. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching.